Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel, everyone. Thank you for coming back. Thank you for um, supporting the channel by like, share, and uh, subscribing, right? And then uh, smashing those notifications so that you can be notified when I upload new videos, right? So today we're going to dive into a very important topic. I'm not going to hold you long today because I'm just starting to feel myself and I don't want to older extend myself, right? Because we don't want to like, like the Mexicans say, take it easy, right? Take it easy. Right? That's what I'm doing. I'm taking it easy. Right? So what I'm going to talk about today is um, my experience in the spiritual realm sexually with the incubus and the succubus. Right. Um, now, the incubus and the succubus, what that is, is they are entities in the spirit realm that like sex and they will have sex with you when you sleep. In, right. And a lot of times you will be aware. Right. This will happen lucidly. And sometimes you won't be aware. You won't know until and after you woke up and you find yourself having a um, climax when you're waking up, that means that they done finished with you and they didn't show themselves at that particular time. But most of the time, the experiences that I've had, I've been having these experiences since I was a child, since I was, since I can remember, since before I was 12. You know, way down in my childhood, I've been having these experiences with the um, sexual ghosts, the incubus, the women ghost. I mean, the uh, succubus, the women ghost, and the incubus, the men ghost. Um, I'm going to um, say, I'm going to be honest with you guys and say that if I had a choice, um, I would, um, the succubus are much more... Um, pleasurable they they show you a lot of pleasure but they are very scary looking right and they could come in the form of um anybody that you know but they're going to be in a, a form that is very um on a lower dimension than this 3d realm because look whether you know this or not you are in You are surrounded by different worlds, different realms, right? Think about it when you go ahead and just say if you put your keys down and you go away and you forget where you put your keys and they don't be there where you think you put them. And then you look away and then they'll be right there where you just looked at. That, that, that means you jumped, right? But a lot of people are not aware of this. Right, a lot of people aren't aware of this. We we are so when we come to this realm, basically we are. Um, this is a. I'm I'm gonna let you know. This is a guide game that you're in. This realm, when when you first hit, first of all, before I get back into the uh, sex with the ghost, right. Before I get back into that, I'm going to tell you that, oh, y'all like my shirt? Did y'all like that shirt? It's nice, right? So look, right, um, before I go into the sex with the ghost, I'm going to go ahead and tell you that when you, when you come into this world, you are made to forget everything that you know. You come in here, you come into this world with the secrets of the universe, but you can't articulate it, right? And you shout up with all this stuff to help you forget. You go into school to help you further forget, to help you be able to um, kind of lower your consciousness more. Now, you, you analytical, you know figures and stuff like that, but you don't know your soul. Right. You don't know yourself, what you are for real. Um, we say all the time, 
I'm just a spirit having a physical experience. I'm just a soul having a, a, a spiritual experience, but we don't know these. We don't really, the reason why I know we don't know this on the level that we say we know it because we put God outside of us. We, 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 if you knew what you really was, you would not have God as a separate entity from you. That, that's just not possible if you know who God really is. And Christ beat it in your head a million times, but we don't get it because we are so... Real quick, this guy I was watching, I forget his name. But he was talking about how he goes into the spirit realm. And I'm going to give you all my health stories. I've, I've been there a few times. At least five or six times I've been there, right? But he was talking about his experiences. I'm going to talk about everything today right here. I'm not going to hold y'all on, but I'm going to tell y'all I'm going to break down everything that I meant to break down, right? The um, joy in the morning, right? How... Morning is supposed to be joy, right? And joy is supposed to be morning. Meaning you got to, because of where you are, you have to do the opposite. It's always supposed to be opposite day. When you smile, when you happy, you're supposed to frown. And but listen, this is how you maneuver yourself in the other realms, right? This is how you got to the, look, you in this world, you in this school called earth, so you can learn how to maneuver this energy in the next round. You got to know how to, like, the energy of love, how hard that pushes. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, when you skid, love, that, that's going to balance out the skid out in that other round. And that's going to push you forward or that's going to push something out your way that you need pushed out the way. Let me tell you, you in school because it's something that you missed. Right. Or something you got to keep coming back here to learn. Right? So, yes, um, he was saying that he was in this realm. Right. I don't know why my nose is itching like that. Well, probably because I still, you know, but. But he he's in this realm, right? And he was helping this lady. And this lady wanted a drink. She wanted some alcohol, right? And she wanted this alcohol. And he said, ma'am, I came down here to help you. There's no drinks down here. You're not going to get your drink down here. So just come with me. The lady would not come with him. Right. Because she said, um, look, I'm going to go try to find me a drink. And I'm going to come back. He said, but I can help you out of this realm. Because in this realm, this was like the lower level of hell. Yes, there is a lower level of hell. Earth is hell, high hell. Right. Earth is hell. But there is lower levels, like two or three more levels beneath this level, right? So the man, right, was telling the lady, look, I can get you out of this place because that's what he does. He goes into the spirit realm and helps different people that he sees fit out of the place. Because some people, he said, these are, well, kind of, nobody... Only only way you deserve to be in those realms is if you want to be there. Because some people is so, even in this realm, in this hellish realm right here, you comfortable with being miserable. You comfortable with being the victim. You comfortable with, you know, just being sad. You comfortable with that victim mind state, right? And so this lady that he was trying to help, he, the lady wasn't taking it. She wasn't taking the help, right? And he was like, dang, I can pull you out of here. 
all all surrounded it was like abandoned and it was dark all day every day down there and it was just like like he was telling the truth because i've been to these realms right he's telling the truth right when i heard him listen when i heard him say this story did tell his health story i was almost in tears i was so intrigued because i was like he telling the truth because i was in this particular realm like one hellish realm i was in was like listen let me tell you it's like york pennsylvania right and for some reason like after like like even in my childhood i knew i had been at this particular place because i kept dreaming about this place i kept dreaming about it but i didn't know where it was on the planet my cousin moved up there right and i was going through shit down here and my cousin's like come up there or well, i'll come up there and go into the city and it's exactly just like the place i had visited it was but it was abandoned it was abandoned but it was york pennsylvania that i had visited in my I, I still might be there in a sense i don't know but i had visited i used to live in york pennsylvania right and at this point like this was back in 2014 that i moved to york pennsylvania up there with my cousin got my own place and everything but that was a place that I had been seeing all my life in my dreams, right? And I had lived there before. Now, I don't know all the details about how I lived, but like different dreams I would have, I would know that that was where I used to live in my past life. So there you go, right? But what I was saying with the lady and um, he was like, come on, ma'am, I can help you out of here she would not go because she needed her drink now he knew that she wasn't going to find a drink down there but she did not know that right she didn't know that there was no drink to be found in that place but she was so committed and so hungry for that drink that she didn't want to move from that area. And I can relate because I remember I, when I was using, I pretty much didn't want to do anything different because I didn't want nothing to happen without me. You know what I'm saying? I didn't want, you know, to miss nothing, right? So I pretty much stayed in a, a pretty much radius of two block radius right so right so yes i said all of that to say we are so comfortable with being programmed and not making our own program right we comfortable with people telling us what, what the program is instead of developing. You got the software, you got the hardware. All you need to do is make that decision. Wait a minute, this is my shit. Just like with jobs. Like I'm on a job that's probably mad at me because I got sick. Like, I don't think that they're going to take it out on me. Right? I don't think that they're going to take it out on me, but I felt some type of a way when I would call in and it wasn't, you know, it was all too, damn, you're missing work. Instead of, oh my God, are you all right? Now, one of my supervisors did ask me if I was all right. But the next sentence was, we need you in, you know, like, I'm not going to allow, and it's not personal. And I know what they did wasn't personal, 
right? But you're going to have to, this 2024, this is the golden age right here, right now. You're going to have to take your power back and you're going to have to put yourself first because if you do not put yourself first, you're not going to be able to be nothing to nobody. So you're going to have to develop your software. You're going to have to develop your own program, right? And what's the name of it? Cultivate it. Cultivate yourself. Cultivate the God within. Get in a real relationship. That, listen, you ever had an emerge, imaginary friend? Same difference. Let me tell you, people with imaginary friends are very powerful people, whether you know that or not. Talk to God like God is your imaginary friend and see what type of power you develop in your life. If you're not used to talking to God, right? If you're not used to talking to God, just do like my granddaughter. This look, my granddaughter is the business because she had look, she had an imaginary friend named Kalisha, Kababa, Bigfoot, and Boogaloo. It's four of them. It was four of them, right? She had four imaginary friends, right? And they was really her family. Like, I think Kalisha and Kababa were sisters. And I think Bigfoot and Boogaloo was their boyfriends, I think. But she had a whole round. And my, listen, my granddaughter is... <laughs> I think she got more than I got <laughs> as far as shit, right? <laughs> I'm joking, but no, but she, she's going places, right? Think of God as being right there because God is right there. Not somebody, an uh, invisible thing that's outside of you that's going to harm you in any way, shape, or form. It's the mind state it's the guilt that you allow people to put on you because you're not meet, meeting up to their expectations because you're not going to let them sit up there and um, what's the name you into doing something you don't want to do. I'm talking about man, woman, children, whoever it is, boss. I don't care who it is, right? If you don't stand up for you, the God within you is going to be. Now, that's when God within going to be pissed. All right, because you're not being truthful to yourself. You're not being loving and caring to yourself. And guess what? If you're not loving and caring to yourself, you're a phony to everyone else. Because if you don't love you, you passive aggressive and you phony. And quiet as this cap. You can tell if you love yourself or not. And you know, you you know deep down inside, I don't care how many wigs you put on, I don't care how much makeup you put on, I don't care if you got on um thousand dollar boots, thousand dollar this, thousand dollar that, or fifty thousand dollar this and fifty thousand that. That don't mean a hell of beans, right? Can you can you tell yourself that you've been honest to people about what you didn't want to do and what you wanted to do and you did something for yourself every day? I don't care if it's go ahead to the salon and get you a nice facial and get you your feet rubbed, right? Or you sit there and get your, 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 your products and rub your own feet, right? And do for yourself. But let's get back on to this uh, sexual uh, ghost and shit, right? I don't, listen, I'm not going to pretend and tell y'all why these ghosts are not coming to me anymore. But I can tell you they was with me as a child. And um, they would come to me on the regular. Look, I was getting orgasms at least once or twice a month from these pe from these entities from the age of like 12 until I got clean, right? When I got clean and sober, it, they stopped coming around. <laughs> they stopped coming around. You know? Now, I'm going to tell you, it's crazy. The most craziest that's not even the word 
the most crazy time that I've ever had with um, a sex demon or whatever whatever they are, um, a sexual uh, incubus, succubus, right? I like the the, the um, succubus better, the succubi better because they're more sensual. The incubus is um, rough and down give shit, right? But the, the succubus is very sensual and very um, nasty. <laughs> Very nasty. <laughs> I mean, look, when these entities, especially the succubus, when the succubus would visit me, right, and I could see it, not when it would visit and then I didn't see anything, I just woke up coming, not that time, those times, but the times where they actually woke me up and started doing it, right? Um, The thick look, it was so scary because they is ugly as fuck. They ugly. They scary looking, like real scary looking. But the sensual, it's like I think it's the reason why they so scary looking is because they is they is you at your darkest, most depraved sexual fantasy, right? And that's what these are. That's what they do. They do the darkest, most depraved sexual shit, right? And it, that's why they look so scary. But it's only an aspect of you or your personality or your deepest desires that you have not been honest with yourself Right. And that's why these entities, I think, was visiting me because this this was at a point to myself. I was wearing a mask now. Yeah. Light bulb. Yeah. That's what that is. I was wearing a mask. Right. So I think that's exactly why. That. I kept getting visits because. There was me, you know, it was me acting out my most deepest sexual shit, you know what I'm saying? In my dreams, because I couldn't do it in real life, right? Because in real life, I wasn't being honest about myself. I wasn't being honest about Nothing. Hmm. Wow. So yes, honey. All right. Now I'm gonna tell y'all about the most craziest. I'm. I'm. Just the craziest time that um. Well, actually, it was two, right? And both of these times, it might have been more than that, but these are the two that I really will never forget, right? And both times I was in rehab, right? One time in 2018 and one time in 2019, right? So... I'm, I'm going to tell you exactly how it went. I would go to sleep, right? And this is so fucking weird. I would go to sleep and they would come to me as bullies, right? Um real ugly, scary bullies. And it was like a track field, not a track field, but they had, but it was a, like a, a school 
and it had like you know them street lights so it was like the street lights and you could i just remember the street lights i remember the grass the green grass the street lights so i think we were at like a, in a field or at a school or something i think it might have been because i used to get bullied in school right so yeah we were at school i mean at a like a field like a track and field but it was grass and you could tell i think it was a school you could see the um you know like the street lights like the long lights that that be at like the stadium like the long um hangover light things whatever right so i just remembered those things right so yeah um what happened was they would keep chasing me and i would wake up scared to death right wake up scared to death so they would keep chasing me and I'd wake up scared but i don't know like as i kept dreaming like as the days would go by because like i said i was in rehab as the days would go by i guess i got tired of it and i started facing these people right and and so when i face these people we would wind up in some depraved sexual shit. like really and these were incubi incubi <laughs> incubuses incubuses right we would end up in some really depraved sexual activities and i would be so in my lower animalistic realm right i was i was like you ain't gonna bully me i'm gonna bully you you're gonna take all this action right because <laughs> i'm not sure wait a minute i'm trying to think Cause I don't like, I don't know if they were scared of me after I didn't run or if it just was, they just wanted to have sex, right? I don't know, but yeah, it's kind of vivid. I mean, it's kind of, it was a vivid dream. It was very intense. It was very real. It wasn't to me. It wasn't a dream. It was real, but it's so far removed from my psyche because I haven't been getting visited by these folks for like a year and some change. I haven't had any more experiences and I've been having these experiences since I was a child. Not the violence. The, the violence only came when I was like, get ready to get off drugs for, for good. So the violence will come, only came in like, look, okay, yeah. So 2017, I had violent dreams, right? 2000, let's see, 2017, 2018, and 2019. Yeah, those three times, those were violent you know sexual with the succubus not the incubus oh yeah 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 i think in 2017 i did have an incubus a real violent god dang it a real violent incubus story a female but 2017 was the incubus the succubus was shit. It's all jumbled. But I know 2000 and wait a minute, 18, 2000. Yeah, 2018 was the scary, scary, scary incubus. That was 
man, that was when they kept fucking with me. They kept fucking with me, and I kept running, kept running, kept running. But then I stopped running, right? I stopped running and had the the best sleepy sex I ever had, right? That was actually the best. Once I faced my demons and like faced them down, was the best sexual sleepy sleepy sexual experience with these creatures, right? And basically, I think it was like just facing, God dang it, facing my demons. And when you face your demons, you get a feeling of heaven. See, the orgasm we think that the orgasm is down here, but the orgasm is up here. When you are true to the God within you, right? God dang it. Excuse me. I felt like I just want to sneeze, like my nose is just all jammed up, y'all. Mm. So look, right? So when you true, to the God within you, right? You get an orgasmic feeling. And this is the present. This is the gift from God, right? That anointing my head was oil. My cup running over, right? You know what that oil is? You got, listen. If you're not getting to know about these oils and the way your body works, if you're not getting to know that everything in the Bible is literally talking about how the mechanics within and without of your body, thou anointest my head with oil, my cup running over it. What that means is when you are true to the God within and you know how to work, because you're paying attention to God within you, not God without you. You're paying attention to the God within, right? When you deny yourself, then you're saying yes to God. That's the, hey, that's the irony of it all. You got to deny yourself. Take care of the body because that's the whole key right there is your body. That's why they say you in this leg of hell, you in that leg of hell. Right, we're in the body. That body is is hell. Some of us are in the balls. Some of us are in the brain. So we all want in the body of Christ, right? Michael the Macro. So our cup runneth over, right? Anointed my head with oil. There is an oil that gets secreted when you deny yourself, when you make a decision to do something to help the body to not separate because God is in your gut, right? When you do something to help, listen, this going to sound crazy, but when you allow your gut to touch your back, you merge your body with God because God is in your gut. So when you merge, you allow, that means you got to go hungry. That means you got to fast. You know why? Because you got to merge. Let your, let your, let your stomach touch your back. That's merging the body with the soul, with the God within, right? And that will cause that oil to drip. Thou anointest my head with oil. I forget what the oil was called. It's called a colostrum or something like that. Right? And it's like a hormone, but it's something separate from that. I forget what it is, y'all, because I'm, I'm, um, mm -hmm. right? So, yeah, it's colostrum. Anyway, it's an oil that gets secreted, and that's not 
listen, I feel it. I see it. I look when I let my stomach touch my back, when I don't eat for even, even if I don't eat for like five, six hours and I can feel my stomach touching my back, I can feel that shit. Listen, because look, if you listen to the, if you listen, if you're looking at this live stream right, man, right now, that means that you're woke. That means you're not, listen, wait a minute. Let me back up so you can see me. I, look, if you're looking at this live stream right now, this means that you is woke. You're not sleeping, right? You wake, look, we're waking up all over the planet, right? If you, dang it, I forgot what I was going to say. But let me tell you something. You got to, listen, got to let yourself, you got to, you got to walk away from everything that causes you fear. to walk away from it right i mean as far as if something is causing you disruption and so, and, and and not letting you focus on the god within you you're gonna have to make some decisions right because once you once you go ahead and Deal with the God within you. I feel like crying right now because I want look something happened to me Monday, right? Y'all know Monday started the golden age, right? And I was like, dang, as soon as it happened, right? I wanted to tell y'all, but I wasn't feeling good. For the last, look, hindsight is 2020. I'm going to tell you. For the last, I would say, four or five weeks, I've been getting burnt by my stove, right? And now that I see the whole picture, I understand why I kept getting burnt. And it makes me want to cry because it was just, for that moment, Monday or Tuesday morning, Tuesday rising, right? That I discovered something. I'll tell y'all. I was burning myself making toast, right? For the last couple weeks. Every time I put a piece of toast in the oven, I would burn myself, right? And it would take, look, I burnt myself right here. It took about three weeks because I burnt it to the white meat and beyond. Like, I could see everything up in there. I burnt that shit down to the bone, right? Then I burnt myself right here right after that. And it was the it was to the bone, to the to the joint, to the bone, all down up in there, up going out of there, up going in there, all over. Listen, then about two weeks ago, I burnt myself right here to where it took my fingerprint off. Right, the fingerprint is back though, but that's how bad I had burnt it. Now, each time I burnt myself, which in, I, I, I would say the last two, two and a half months, each time I burnt myself, it would take at least three, three weeks for it to completely to where I can't see it no more, right? At least three weeks. Monday night, I'm putting a piece of toast in the oven. Now, this oven, I didn't know it was hot, right? 
I touched the hottest part of that oven with this part of my finger right here, and it went out to here. It was disgusting. Now, it didn't break the skin, but it went out to here, and it was like, oh, my God. I was like, damn, I'm going to I'm gonna have to be in pain for another few weeks. I was like, hey, right? And I showed my son, right? I showed Tay. I was like, look what I did. Oh, my God, right? So, then I go to sleep, right? God is good because I was so, oh, my God. I was, I was like, oh, my goodness. I don't know what, because I had been sleeping on the floor because I'd be, like, rolling around. When I don't feel good, I'd be just, like, moving too much. So, I went and God went and slept on the floor. For the last week, I've been sleeping on the floor, right? So I was like, oh, my God, I'm going to be so miserable sleeping on that floor. I'm be so miserable rolling around and shit. And then I, I don't have no Band-Aids when I'm going to do, blah, 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 blah. But you should never use Band-Aids on a sword. Get Let the air, you know, do not put no Band-Aid on your sword unless you just don't heal. I mean, I mean, that, just let the air air heal you right so look i went to sleep i know i talk long right i went to sleep right and i go to sleep and i had this this dream even when i think about it now it's fucking wild let me tell you about the dream i burnt myself in the dream right and I showed my son, I was like, oh my God, I burnt myself. Look, in this dream, I had, it was shit coming out of my finger, like butterflies, gold, silver, diamonds, platinum. Everything was coming out of this finger. Everything. Beautiful colors I've never seen in my life was coming out of my finger. Gold, diamonds, every type of stone that you can think of. Look, butterflies was coming out of here with diamonds on. It was weird and it made me itch. In the dream, I was like, oh, oh my God, this shit is coming out my thumb and it made me itch, right? It made me like have the willies, like the EBGBs, because I was like, ew, that's coming out my thumb. Ew. I mean, out my, not my thumb, but my um, index finger, right? I'm like, ew. <coughs> right? So my son was, you know, like, but then this guy came up to me in this dream, right? It was a, a like a, Agent Smith type of dude. And so I backed up because I was like, the fuck you looking at, right? And he was like, yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. Oh, you do magic. Okay. I'm going to keep my eye on you. Like, telepathically, that's what he was saying to me. I was like, you don't get your ass out of here. <laughs> Why? Might make it real dark for you. You better get your ass out of here. Right? You want to see some dark clouds every time you fucking open your eyes? You better get your ass out of here. Right. So, yeah. And then, look. So, that happened, right? I wake up about 1, 2 in the morning. Right? So I can go in the bathroom and give the toilet a thrill. I've been on that toilet for a good week straight. I know that toilet is sick of me. So I go in the bathroom. And then I thought to myself, shit, I forgot. I did not burnt myself. Lord Jesus, I better not put no hot water on this thing right now. Look at the freaking hand, and it was gone. It was nothing on my hand. It was like it, nothing happened. It was not burnt. 
right? That's nothing. And I told my son, I woke my son up. I was like, ah, get up, get up. He's like, ma'am. I said, did I burn myself yesterday? <laughs> he said, yes, ma'am. I said, look, Bob. And I showed him. He was like, dang. Yeah, you didn't burn yourself. I was like, yeah, it's, it's you. It's nothing, nothing there. Nothing there. If Look, if he wouldn't have seen me freaking do it, I would have thought, oh, okay, that was a dream. But it was a dream because life is but a dream. See, now it's going to be to where we jumping all over the place, in and out these dimensions in and out of these rooms, different rooms, realms. A room is a realm, is a is a position, is a look, everywhere you step is a is a potential for a different realm, a potential for a different dimension, right? It's all in what you choose, right? But yeah, y'all, I had so much to talk about, but that story was crazy, right? And yeah, that story was crazy. I was like, look, after that, I said, dang. I know I, you know, I know I know the God within me is a healer. But that was on some. I don't know. That was on some next level shit right there. Because the burn was crazy. The burn was disgustingly big, crazy red. Looked like matter of fact, it was turning like a it looked like an eraser. Like a, not an eraser, but not a number two pencil, but like a brown like a brown number G pencil, it reminds you of. It was disgusting, right? But yeah, it's no more to be. God damn it, I need to wash my hands, right? And then what else um, I was going to say to talk about? Um, uh, yeah. um, oh, morning. That's what we want to talk about, morning, right? Um. Weeping may endure for night joy comes in the morning, right? What does that mean? That means after the after the morning you have joy? No. That means that you live in backwards when you is look sex. When you having great, amazing sex, what are you doing? You you moaning, mourning, moaning. Words and sounds, guys. I keep telling you guys. Words and sounds. Moaning, moaning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Look, that's why I don't get mad at people no more for saying good morning to me. Right? Because I understand that all of this is an energy. Right? We're going to talk about that as well. Right, y'all? We're going to talk about words and sounds, and we're going to talk about, listen, I'm going to tell y'all something, right? It's this pastor that I listen to. See, this is why you can't, listen, if you're in the conscious community, you can't make fun of religious people. You can't make fun of the Christians and the people that go to church. I'm going to tell you why you can't do it. Because guess what? I discovered something. Because look, it's this pastor, right, that be on YouTube, right? This pastor is freaking amazing, right? He reminds me of the pastors in my family, right? He is amazing. Now listen, he the stuff that he say, I don't agree with. Half of the stuff he say, 
half of the stuff he say I agree with the other half I do not right but I don't I'm indifferent to it to the stuff that I don't agree with it doesn't matter I'm gonna tell you what matters and this is the truth it only matters how somebody makes you feel because what the how the words come up out, out of their mouth and the vibration to what it hits your aura how it hits your energy field is all that matters it does everything else is babble that's why nothing no religion all the religions really we saying the same things it's all babble it doesn't matter even this subscription the bible that say at the end of the day none of this shit matter it's all bad right one of the scriptures in the bible you say that right but we be missing that sound vibration and frequency is all that matters how look you ever had somebody come around you and their energy was so freaking off that you in, in every word that came up off their mouth you like uh-uh uh-uh you got to go you got uh -uh. you back up. three feet please and thank you 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 got to go right but it's some people that come around you that when they talk you can feel it in your crown chakra you can feel that right it only matters how somebody makes you feel right the only truth is how you feel when somebody else is in your area it's your area this is your space right mm. how somebody makes you feel it, it, it just clicked to me because i was like why am I listening to him? And I don't agree with all, a lot of the stuff he say. I don't agree with it. You know why? Because he is with what he believes in what he's saying. His 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 um intentions are honorable, right? He's not being um he's not being um untrue to his self right and when somebody is tr being true to themselves and not sitting there hoarding on what the next person is thinking or worrying about where this one putting their coochie where this one doing this and that one doing that when somebody is just totally true to themselves and and, and, and rock the way they rock and don't focus on others right it resonates with with people right it resonates with people when when you when you're around somebody that's true to they self when you're around somebody that don't sit there and and, and and um let everything that they do uh be because of what this person does you know what i'm saying that resonates so because this man is true to himself right and he is speaking to try to help people in a genuine manner right the frequency that he's on when he speaks even though his words i don't agree with but the frequency he is on the vibration he's putting out it resonates with my vibration so that's what you know what i'm saying and his wife same thing both of them he got a beautiful wife he's uh amazing right and they both have this vibe this amazing vibe that you just want to listen to and 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 when when he talks and i look what 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 really comes forth is his sincerity his sincerity and his oomph 
his listen frequency and vibration i think people get it mixed up right a vibe is you know by a vibe is you know what i'm saying is a push right a pushing out or a you know what i'm saying the frequency is how many times that thing is pushed out how many times or how often that vibe is you know what i'm saying the vibe is the actual um is the actual spirit or spark the frequency is how many times that spark is sparked right so this man vibe right it's very powerful a powerful vibe and his frequency is constant it's a it's a his frequent you know it's not a a phony thing so he's on a the frequency he is on is very you know you know what i'm saying it's a it, it's it's a current it's a current there, right? He goes somewhere with that. He goes somewhere with that. He's not, his that energy ain't stagnant because he's being true to, to the God within him, right? He being true to the God within him. And wait, the, the stuff that he say, if I was a judgmental person, I would be like, I can't listen to him because I don't agree with what he say. Right, but because I have evolved as a soul, right, I understand that it's the vibe he put out, it's the sincerity in what he's saying, right? It's the it's the it it it's not you know what I'm saying? He's very what do you call it? Sincere at what he's doing. He's not He's not doing it. I don't know why he's doing it, but his the vibe matches my vibe because I can feel it in my crown. You you ever had somebody to talk and you can feel it in your crown? Now I might be the only person that has a really active crown chakra. Like my crown chakra is lit. And, and look, it's ways you can control that thing. Look, this is how you, you look, you got to, listen, you got to know how this shit work. Everything is energy and everything is you balancing that shit out or you making it go the way you want to go with the frequency you want it to, to be at, right? Or with the vibe you want to feel. That vibe is that, hmm. And that frequency is the current light. It's like the current, right? So basically, something annoys you, right? Or something that you don't agree with, right? You, 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 you have um, somebody that you got. Just say somebody that you got to work with, right? But you don't agree with most of the things that they put forth, right? You got to find something. If you got to be around this person, if you got to be around this person, you got to find something about this person that's not so fucked up, right? If you have to be around this person, if you don't, to be around this person, kick rocks. Make them kick rocks. None of the other, right? Separate yourself. Right. It's not that hard. It's not rocket science. You separate yourself. Tell them to kick rocks or you kick rocks. Right? But if you have to be around, just say if you working in the office with somebody who you don't fuck with, right? You got to listen. And I'm going to give you a game right here. I should make y'all pay for this, but I'm not that type. Right? 
go to my Patreon. Look, I'm about to look. I'm gonna give so much game on Patreon, but I'm gonna tell y'all an energy hack right now. Right, you're around somebody you cannot fucking stand, right? And you just wish they get the fuck out your face, right? You got to find something about that person that is totally. It, but you got to be kind of a wizard to do this. You got to be creative. You got to create love. Sometimes you're going to have to create. Right. You don't, you don't got to be around nobody you don't want to be around. But just say if you're working with this person and you think you need this job, which you don't, all you need is you and the God within, and the fact that, that you know that there's infinite possibilities within you. But if you think you need this job, or if you think you need whatever you in, this arena you in, get creative. Find something about that person. Even if it's the way they say a certain word, Right, even if it's the way they, um, you know, anything they do, you got to get creative. You look, you got to program it in your own mind, right? Whatever they do, a lot, especially like if it annoys you, you got to reprogram your mind to say, every time he does that, I feel this in my crown chakra. Every time she does that, I feel that. I feel it. It feels so, you know what I'm saying? You got to program it. So you got to get creative, right? That's why Christ said you should be, you got to be as a child, right? Because children create. Children have emerged imaginary friends, right? And you can listen, you got to, you, you got to be able to use these imaginary friends. You got to be able to use this imagination. I am a gen, right? I am a gen. Imagine. That's what imagine is. I am a gen. What is a gen? A gen is a god, right? What did Christ say? Ye are gods. I, Christ said, didn't I tell you he was a god? Fucking dummy. Didn't I say he was a god? So why is when somebody asks you, are you a god, you're going to say no if I told you you was a god? Genius, right? Why? I used to get so mad. When I used to hear people call themselves God, oh my God, I used to be like, dumb. <laughs> you know, I used to be so freaking mad. I couldn't stand Charlemagne the God. I could not stand his ass because his last name was the God. Right? I said, don't he know there's only one God? Don't he know that's blasphemy? Call himself God. Right, I'm fighting God's battle, right? When when God says vengeance is mine, right? So I got mad for God. <laughs> I know God was laughing at me, right? I got mad for God. I'm like, why is he calling himself God? See, the reason why God says vengeance is mine, right? Is because that's none of your business with nobody uh nobody's else religion. God, Dang it. It's none of your business, right? Unless they is um, coming up on you with some nonsense in regards to anything. Then what they do, what they say, what they feel, what they, you know, all that, that's, that's not your business. That's your business. Huh? Um, where's my shit? Don't tell me I took it in the other room. That is crazy. All right. Uh, so god dang it. I don't know what's going on, right? With the uh ether. <laughs> but my nose is itching, my eyes are itching, everything itching, right? But yes, guys, that is Basically, shit, I got so many um stories about um because I was I was listening to the guy talk about his 
his work in these underworld in the under the realm of under just up under here right and i'm a witness there are realms up under here because i've been there uh women women the the this the lowest realm that i was in okay because i was in that realm he talked about just below here that was the york pennsylvania and the, the realm where the guys was um you know fucking around with me right but trying to bully me right but then i was in this real lower place where i was by myself and i was in that place three times right at least three times i was in that place so that was, I think, the lowest round of hell that you can get. And no, it wasn't a burning place. I wasn't cold. I wasn't hot. I was just feeling all of the feelings that you cannot imagine um, you can't imagine how and the intensity of the loneliness and of the scaredness and of the agony and it's not painful it was just okay i'm gonna tell you what i think this was what this actual experience was i think this experience that but now it's going to be a little bit off so look i think this experience was how God felt when God was just that primordial force on its own until it divided itself into fragments and, and made itself into, you know, I think that's how God felt, you know, when God was just God by himself or by itself, that primordial force I think that's what the chaos was, like being lonely, right? Because that's what I felt in this place. But in this place, it was like a basement, right? But it was like a basement nowhere. And it was dark. It was it was a it was an orange light. And it was like a maze, right? And it was like a basement. And every time I would find the door to in this basement, every time I would find the door, then um, to get out, I would go into another room exactly like that. But in this other room, it would have like a window in a different spot. Pretty much, I don't, I don't even know if there was like windows, but I know it was just like, the rooms that I was in, they they was almost just alike, but in every room it was like something a little bit different. That's what I wanted to say, right? And every time I would think I would be escaping this room or escaping this place, this maze of a place of a dark. Listen. Oh, and that ain't the worst part. The worst part is a lot I would be like flipping 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 and could not stop flipping like kept flipping like couldn't couldn't stand i couldn't stand on my two feet for like more than like five seconds and i would be i would get on my two feet for five seconds and then i would go to flipping again keep flipping 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 and it was agonizing it was that and then i would try to listen I would try to wake myself up, right? Because I was, I don't know if I knew I was in a dream or what. I don't know. But I was trying to wake myself up. There will be times in this place where I was like, oh, my God, you got to wake up. You got to wake up. And I couldn't wake up. And I would try to scratch myself, pinch myself, hit myself, and could not wake up, right? Each time in this play, each time. When I would get tired of doing all the shit that I that was failing me, I would say the word Jesus with everything I had in me. 
I would say, Jesus, help me, like deep down in my gut, right? And I would wake straight up, guys. I would wake straight up soon as I would say, help me, Jesus. Help me, Jesus. I would wake straight up, right? So I said that because I said earlier, you don't, if you in the conscious community and you make fun of a Christian because they don't see how you see things and they they take the Bible on a basic level and not dig and, and know, know the Bible, Bible on a metaphysical level. You don't make fun of them because it's still, listen, it's still energy that you messing with. It's energy. Christ, listen, Christ's energy is real. So you don't sit there and make fun of that energy because you're making fun of a whole deity. You're making fun of a whole you know, you make it, you, you're not, when you doing that and making judgments, what you is, is putting that energy onto yourself because you're not seeing that person as this like a part of yourself that has not woke up yet. And you being judgmental and saying, oh, they sleep, they, you, you still sleep, you still believe in Jesus Christ. Yes, Jesus Christ, that's Christ consciousness is a whole energy, whole deity, whole, yes, it's real. And I'm so glad that I have those experiences to draw on, to, to be able to reference that, yeah, that name is very powerful in this realm. And I don't, in, in that round, right? And this round too, think about it. People even not trying to throw shade, but you know how much energy has been exerted behind the name Jesus Christ. Even when he was on the planet, whether he was on the planet or, or not, I don't know, but I know that is an energy, a heavy energy that can get you up out of where I was at. <laughs> I know that. Right? And that's the energy that wants you to realize that the kingdom of heaven is within. And that's the energy that doesn't want you to judge the next one because they know the Bible on a, just a basic level. And just know the stories and think that the stories are just literal and not about the human body. It doesn't matter. You still show love, right? You still show that, you know, you don't sit there and make fun of a Muslim because they do Muslim and you do Christianity or you, because guess what? At the end of the day, it's all energy. And guess what? We all saying the same thing. All at the end of the day, the only thing that matter and the Bible do say this. I forget where it say that. At the end of the day, it's all babble. All, all what matters is your frequency, vibration, and your um, you know, your energy. How you put forth your energy, and you learning that by by how you treat your body. Right, and by how you get closer to you gotta find out you gotta know where God location is. That's a deal breaker. That's that's not up for debate. That is just not up for debate. I don't care, you're not gonna be able to get away with anything. Listen, shit can yes, stuff can work before you even realize how to work it, right? And stuff can work be, into, before you know what it actually is. That's why the Bible works for, 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 for those who don't even know how very powerful the book truly is, right? It's a book of spells. It's the God spell. 
the God spell. That's what the Bible is. It's a book of spells. It's about how, and the spells, spells is the word. Word, spelling, spells, the word, spelling. That's why they call it spelling, the word. The Bible is a book on how to cultivate the body, how to take care of the body, what you did not to take care of the body, and how to, um, how to uh, remedy that, how to stay on course, how to love your neighbor. I mean, micro to macro, the Bible is telling you, giving you game on, upon game, upon game, upon game. And yes, we do. A lot of us, me before 2012, was reading it on a basic level for the stories. Yes, Joshua did this. And, uh, but guess what? Jesus was each and every character. He came back as each and every character. That's why they say Christ is the new Adam. Because he just kept coming back. Until so, uh, April showers is time, baby. Hey, April showers. You my first visitor. I've been on here for an hour. Hey, April. Hey, it's crickets over here. <laughs> Thank you for coming, April. <laughs> I'm telling you, April. Yes, honey. I was. I, I was. I, <laughs> I know you do, baby. Thank you. Gorgeous, April. I understand. I love you, April. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> you know I love you, April. <laughs> but yeah, girl, I was just talking about um my sexual experiences with the um people. In the spirit realm, you know, yeah, my sexual experience with the people in the spirit realm. I was talking about how, um, you know, my health stories and everything. And what else was I talking about, April? Oh, just the different religions and stuff like that, and how we all, you know, it, it. You know, like how basically it, it doesn't really matter what somebody's religion is. It just matters how they make you feel. You know what I'm saying? Like how you feel when you're around them. You know, if they can make or bring out certain emotions in you, basically. That's basically all I was uh, really talking about and everything. Uh, April, I'm so glad you came. Thank you so much. I was great. Shut this down, too, girl. But yeah, um, what time is it? Six thirty. God, hey, yeah, and I got a couple things I gotta do, right? I've been neglecting everything, April. I've been on my ass this week. Whole freaking week and a half. Oh, really? It's been like eight, eight days, nine days. I've been sick now. Well, I ain't gonna say that. Nine days. I've been, you know, not feeling myself. I'm, I hate saying sick. But y'all, yes, funny. I'm getting ready to. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna pack it in. Love you so much, people. Thank you for coming. And um, I will see you on your channel, April. I, I've been so all over the place, but I'm going to make this my full-time job, honey. Yes. I'm going to make this my... Shit, I'm a senior. I should be able to goddamn retire. I don't think that's happening. Not no time soon, but if I go ahead and just stay true to what I want to do as far as my um, live streaming and stuff, and keep this live streaming and stop uh, bullshit with this thing. I know that everything will work itself out. Right? Hello, man. 
All right, now I'm going to talk to you guys later. We can do a part two tomorrow because tomorrow is Friday. But we're going to talk about more about these sexual beings and what um, what it is that they actually want from you, right? What it is actually they want from you. So we're going to talk about that tomorrow because it's, it's a lot. It's a lot that I did not cover because I didn't want to give it all in one, you know, one session. So we'll have a good session tomorrow. Love you guys very much. Um, I wish you guys wholeness, everything wonderful, amazing, and orgasmic that your hands and your heart can hold. Wow. Mother freaking dope.